today's story, Monster in the Maze, the story of the Manitoba. And this was quiet. People were waiting in the square. No one spoke, no one moved. Everyone was grinning sad. The lottery was about to begin. Every year, 14 children were chosen. They, went, they were sent to the island of Crete and locked in a maze of stone. In the maze was a monster, the Manator. Half man and half beast, it fed on human flesh. Hundreds of children had gone to Crete. None had returned. The old king of Amphis took his place. The boys and girls of the city were led into the square. Began, he said, he had no choice. The king of Crete was powerful. He would destroy Amphis if the children were not sent. The first boy reached into the tall jar. Before him, he drew out a black stone. He was safe. The first girl reached into the jar. Her stone was black, too. She ran to her parents. The next boy reached into the jar. He fell to his knees. The stone was white. The boy's mother screamed and cried. Soon many parents were sobbing. Seven girls and six boys had picked white stones. The girls had taken them all away. One white stone was left. A young man pushed through the crowd. He was the king's son, Thurisus. Theusus tipped over the jar. One white stone stood out among the black ones. This is mine, he said. Son, cried the king, no. Thus he stood before his father. There is only one way in the lottery, he said. I must try to slay the Minotaur. The king could not bear to lose his only son. Yet he knew Thessalus was right. Go, he whispered. The ship for Enthus sailed to Crete. The young captives were led on a chain. Those his first he walked proudly, he showed no fear. The king of Cortes showed watching, stood watching. Beside him was his daughter. Her name was Ariane. Long before the king of Cortes only son had been killed at Enthus, the lottery was the king's revenge. Every year he waited for the children for Athens, and every year he threw them to his monster. Arena Dan watched the caitiffs and fed all pity for them. What did he have to die? They had done nothing wrong. Then Aradian's old Dices. He was tall and strong. His steady gray eyes looked for her into hers. Sally and Rin knew what she must do. Later that night, India was in prison. Yesaurus, be serious. Woke to see her. Princess, he said, why have you come here? To help you, Sarah Dan. She gave him a dagger. It was so bright and sharp and seemed alive. Use this to fight the Minotaur, she said. Then she gave the source a spool of thread. Tie one end to the door's post of the maze. Unwind the spool as you go. After you kill the monster, follow the thread. It will let you save. The source touched Aranea's hand. If I kill the Minotaur, I'll be the king of Memphis one day. Come with me and be my queen for the first time. Aradina smiled. I will pray for you, she said. The next day, the captives were led in a maze. Deep inside, the monster waited. His eyes gleamed, his human feet caked with dust and blood. All the ground, the sound of young voices came to hear through the darkness. He roared. He had been waiting for a long time. Now his wait was over. When they heard a harsh bellow, the children clung to one, one another. Wait here for me, thus said Theseus. He tied Aranean's thread to the door post. Then he set out. The maze was a dark stone pala puzzle. His high wall snacked that way and that. Theseus fell his way through it. Little by little, he unloomed the thread. The Minotaur roared again. This is gross. I, it smells me, he thought. He forced himself to run a monster. Now he could hear painting. He thought the brave, dark-eyed indeed. He thought they're all the children who had died. He drew his dagger. Soros threw the corner, and there he was, the Minotaur. It was huge, I rear up, ready to strike. The girls was ready. He ran at the monster. The was standing like horns. The monster tried to crush Soros against the wall. Soros looked out again and again. He felt screaming. Then his pounding heart was still. Soros brought the thread. He was unbroken. He both. He threw him in. He says he found the children. They cried out and he saw him. Soros held daggers. Well, they have to save us, he said. The mentor is dead. Soros and the others ran from the maze. The pale moon led the way. Arun is waiting on the ship. Will you come with us? Asked the Soros. Wait, I will, she said. Together they sailed into the night. The next morning, Lord came to Keen and Quates. The mentor was dead. 
the king wept. He had lost his son, he had lost his father, he had lost his monster. So he's returning home a hero. Never again with Jung and Anthes send the card to die. And the maze, over the years, it crumbled into dust. Now, all that remains is this story. The end.